I look outside. I see the sky. And I hear a dump truck and I see windows and I see electric wires. And I see a dark, cloudy sky. And I see clouds moving. And I hear a person hitting my wall next door. And I'm unsure, maybe it's not. But I know, anybody who cared about anybody and any landlord in the right mind who wanted to rent a place out to a person would try to solve the problem, would try to wrap their head around what's occurring and then be done with what's happening. But the person next door, the landlord downstairs, and maybe the drug dealer involved for the person next door don't want the sound to stop. They want death. They want destruction. And I see a plane flying above and it's beautiful. But I haven't been in a plane for I don't know how long. I haven't seen the stars since I was little in Arizona and I'd look out at a telescope and get excited about life. And I haven't had much to dream about with such abuse. And I haven't had the strength and the courage and the honor and the integrity and the dignity and the sadness to give up because I'm not depressed. But when I look outside and I see what's happening and I see what's occurring out there, what the person next door is doing to me and what the bully in the office downstairs who's called a landlord does to me are like what people used to say about selfies. You, you, start to, you start to see the person for who they are and why there's some strange stuff happening behind them and why they pray so hard and why they notice stuff like a crow flying across the screen. And why a person like myself would want to figure out stuff and not just have stuff keep happening negatively. Because life's short. When you have cancer, you could get it back tomorrow. And when the short life gets so tormented and so upside down and backwards and gross and nasty, I start to wonder, have you ever had this kind of life happen to you? And have so much feel like a simulation caused by people's emotions and people's negligence and people's hostility?